The Pike Syndicate didn't appear in Star Wars until the Clone Wars episode Eminence in 2013, but they've very quickly become prominent as a major criminal power in the galactic underworld, most recently appearing in The Bad Batch. So today, let's run through their entire history. The Pike species hailed from the planet Obadiah, just outside of the Achates Maelstrom and the Kessel Run. Their close proximity to the planet Kessel allowed them a relationship with the planet Spice Mines. Although spice was found on other planets, the pikes wound up controlling most of the spice trade in the galaxy. Spice could be used for medicinal purposes, but it was often a component in illegal drugs. Over ten years before the outbreak of the Clone Wars, the Pike Syndicate was well known enough to gain an invitation to a black market party thrown by the Zrexis cartel. Zev Zrexis was auctioning off a captured Jedi Padawan to a number of criminal organizations. The Pikes, at this time led by Lom Pike, did not win the Padawan in the bidding, but they were soon hired to track her down alongside Darth Maul, who had stolen her from the rightful auction winners. Not surprisingly, all the Pikes that attempted the hunt were killed by the Sith Apprentice. It wasn't long after their first encounter with the Sith, at least as far as we currently know, that they were approached by another Sith Lord, Darth Tyrannus. Supreme Chancellor Finnis Valorum was sending his aide, Silman, and Jedi Master sifo to meet with the Pikes to discuss their monopoly on the spice trade. But Tyrannus had the Pikes kill his old friend, sifo instead. The Pikes took Silman as a hostage as insurance against their new Sith quote-unquote friend. Over a decade later, Darth Maul allied himself with Death Watch so they could take control of the planet Mandalore together. They forced another criminal organization, Black Sun, to join them, and the Pikes followed soon after. They became known as the Shadow Collective and were strong enough to force even the Hutt Cartel into joining them. They were briefly successful in capturing Mandalore, but when Maul was captured by Darth Sidious, the rest of the Shadow Collective was forced into a retreat. Returning to Obadiah, Lom Pike, who still led the Syndicate, was confronted by Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, who were finally looking into the mysterious death of sifo long ago. Lom allowed the Jedi an audience with Silman, who was still a prisoner of the Pikes, in return for forgiveness for the murder of a Jedi. But Darth Tyrannus arrived on the planet and killed Silman and Lom before the Jedi could learn any more about sifo death. Black Sun used the power vacuum to suggest merging their organization with the Pikes, but a new leader named Marg Krim refused the offer. Black Sun kidnapped his family to force his hand, but instead, Marg hired Asajj Ventress and Quinlan Voss to rescue them. They were successful, but Black Sun escalated the conflict by attacking Obadiah. The re-emergence of Darth Maul seemed to put an end to their bickering, and they fell in line behind the Sith Lord. Separatist forces, under the command of Darth's Tyrannus and Sidious, attacked every member of the Shadow Collective as they chased Maul across the galaxy. Feeling abandoned by Maul, Krim threatened to leave the Collective, but was ultimately convinced to remain. Whether that was through skillful negotiation or intimidation remains to be seen. Maul seemingly took some control over the spice trade because when Trace and Rafa Martez dumped a shipment of spice that was owed to the Pikes, Krim began to fear for his life. Maul, who had begun his own criminal syndicate called Crimson Dawn by this point, threatened to take over their entire operation if the matter could not be resolved. After the fall of the Republic and the rise of the Empire, many criminal syndicates used the chaos and uncertainty in the galaxy to grasp for more power. The Pikes were no different, making moves against the planet Ord Mantell and the Durand crime family. The influence of the Durands is currently unknown, but seemed to be enough that the Pikes did not want an all-out conflict with them. They remained in control of the spice trade and had a strong foothold on Kessel for ten years after the end of the Clone Wars, having a fragile alliance with Crimson Dawn. Quay Tulsite served as the administrator of Kessel until Han Solo and his friends arrived to steal some coaxium. During their heist, they killed Tulsite and inadvertently sparked a droid and slave uprising. The event permanently damaged the Pike Syndicate's reputation and power within the criminal underworld. They were still well known enough to get Crimson Dawn's invitation to bid on the Carbonite and Case Han Solo to get their chance at revenge 13 years later, but that wound up being the second auction they didn't win. By the time of the New Republic, their power had substantially faded, but they were still known and feared to some degree. And that's currently everything we know about the Pikes from their appearances in canon Star Wars media, so that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.